Welcome to Six Sigma.org's A3 template. Did you know that A3 is a problem solving process? You may have heard or be familiar with Demaic, Demadvi, Lean, Kepner, Trigo, or a host of other problem solving methodologies, but have you heard of A3? It isn't as widely known as the others I just mentioned. What is reported to have been started at Toyota is slowly making its way into product and service industries of all types. A3, as its name is given, uh, while it's referring to a problem-solving process, the actual name has its origin in the European paper size uh, A3, and in the United States that's equivalent roughly to the 11 by 17 inches. There's seven steps to the A3 process. Now some professionals would break it into fewer steps, some into more, but ultimately the A3 process follows the PDCA or Plan, Do, Check, Act format. The seven steps are as follows, and we'll, we'll follow along here in the template. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, state the problem, so I'll just describe it here. And then under step one in the background, in this section I want to define the problem. I uh, recommend you use a, a verb noun format like broken spindle, for example. You know, for complex problems, you could consider using the is and is not tool that's located on the Six Sigma.org website in the Downloads tab in the Change Management Tool.xlsx uh, file. Although is is not is not typically associated with the A3, you know, there's no reason why uh, you can't use the is is not, and again, particularly for complex problems. In step two, what we're trying to do is describe the current condition. And so, to the extent that um, uh, the problem exists and we want to uh, sort of define that uh, we might want to put in here the defect level uh, perhaps it's a customer satisfaction rating that's not satisfactory maybe uh, higher than uh, desired warranty repair costs and this sort of thing it do include in step two though the uh, products or the product lines that are affected along with the customers affected um, perhaps it's the production line producing the parts that are affected and uh, this kind of thing now, down in step three, the, there's the goal, and so the question we're trying to answer here is what are you trying to achieve? You want to describe the future state. Uh, the future state, uh, you can define that by using the future state uh, vision or the more of or less of tools that are located in the Six Sigma.org download change management tools.xlsx. Uh, that can help you with this. So you want to def define what what the goals are for the, uh, for the project, the problem solving process. Now the next thing we want to do is the root cause analysis. So this really is the most difficult part of the A3. You know, typically you'll see on an A3 a Pareto analysis, perhaps a fishbone diagram uh, or five Ys they're used. I would add also into that mix the interrelationship diagram. And uh, those four tools that I just mentioned along with the is, is not, you know, that'll really solve the majority of the problems that you're going to face. But in the event that you need other tools uh, for may, uh, maybe more complex problems, there are 14 others um, as well out on the Six Sigma.org website. So finding the root cause of the problem, and the, you can see here there's adequate description. I would uh, recommend that you use diagrams more than you use words. Uh, pictures do paint. Um, a nice picture and are far better at communicating I would say than the words are. Now the next step is the countermeasure. So what actions are required to get the problem abated? What are we going to do to stop the problem from continuing? So this is really the most important step in all of A3 to the customer. Uh, they don't want more defective product and they'll sort of press you to make sure that that doesn't happen. The, uh, on the Six Sigma.org uh, website, there's a root cause and prevention matrix. It's also an XLS file. And uh, you can use it to find the appropriate uh, countermeasures. When the countermeasures are being addressed, of course, you want to list what the root cause is. And there could be multiple root causes. So there's the root cause, the remediation, uh, the person responsible, the date the action was taken, and then the result, if any. All right, so that is the, uh, the countermeasures. Over in step six, we have the root cause validation. So how do you know that root cause has been found? Well, there's really several ways to verify root cause. And out on the Six Sigma.org website, in the 8D XLSX template, there are a number of uh, methodologies described in there on how to uh, validate root cause. 
you know, validating root cause is not difficult, but it is very, very important. And so uh, a description of how root cause is validated needs to go in step six. And then finally down in uh, step seven is the follow-up. Now we use this for two reasons. Um, this part of the A3 is used to evaluate the success of the A3 process for the problem you're trying to resolve and also to, uh, to investigate other related but perhaps secondary type problems as well. So on a single uh, sheet of paper that's size A3 or 11 by 17, we have a complete story of the problem from its uh, background, the origin, the products, and the uh, customers affected to the intended goal of the problem solving process. And then we work our, our way through root cause, that's step four, so root cause analysis and the uh, techniques that we use to get to root cause would be described in step four. And then in step five, countermeasures, these are methods to abate the problem from recurring and, uh, and or continuing. Uh, then in step six, we have the validation step. So uh, how do we know we have uh, identified root cause? And then in uh, step uh, seven are any follow-up issues. And so, again, this follows the PDCA cycle. Uh, it, it permits us to evaluate the effectiveness of uh, our uh, methodology on this particular problem and then to address any other problems that may have occurred but were of a secondary nature. So that's really the A3 uh, template. I'd be interested to hear your success using A3 or your failures. I, I would like to know uh, where you believe its strengths are and where its weaknesses are. For more uh, resources, go to the uh, sixsigma.org website and there's a number of resources out there from uh, free downloads and templates to uh, online training. Uh, thanks for watching our video on the A3 template.